Hey, sweetheart. Guess it just came through your window to visit you. That's right. It's me. And my hips didn't get stuck this time. I got your text not too long ago. As soon as you told me you were feeling lonely, I came rushing right over because there's no way I can leave my good boy alone when you need me, sweetie. I'm like your super girl. Well, maybe Superwoman would be more fitting since I'm a bit on the older side. But you don't mind, right? That's what makes you my Superman. I'm not sure if Superwoman is a thing, though. But I guess it doesn't matter. All that matters right now is you. Since you've been feeling lonely, I thought I could keep you company. So here I am. I'm glad you texted me, actually. I was feeling a bit lonely myself. Well... I always feel lonely without you. But a good way to cure that loneliness is with a nice, loving hug. So what do you say? Would you like to be a good boy and give me a hug? I'd be stoked if you did. I think I might even give you a reward if you did. Well, I'm not going to tell you what the reward is until you hug me, silly. Where's the fun in telling you? I can promise that you'll be so excited to get it from me, though. There we go. Didn't I tell you a hug would be a nice way to deal with what you're going through right now? I feel so at peace with you. You're such a good boyfriend letting me enjoy this moment. I know this is about you, and about me trying to comfort you, but... I can't help it if I'm overjoyed to hug you. You're such a sweet, good boy. It's my natural state to be obsessed with you. Why else do you think I keep a few strands of your hair inside my locket? It's because you're so precious, and I love you. Wait, remind me. I did ask you for the strands of hair before I took them for my necklace, right? <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I must have forgotten to ask. I, I didn't mean to overstep my boundaries. Again. Tell you what, I'll give you another second reward later, okay? I'm sure I'll be able to think of something that'll bring you pleasure. But we can think about that later. Since you're hugging me, I still have to give you your first reward. Hold on. Excuse me for a moment while I go get it from my bag, okay? Okay, here it is. Ta-da! I know it doesn't look like much, and... Well, that's because it's a key, but it's not just any key. It's a key to my house. I figured this way, you don't have to worry about being so lonely anymore. Anytime you feel lonely, you can just come over to my place and use the key to get in. I'm figuring you're not going to want to come through my window after all. Though I suppose if you did, your hips wouldn't get stuck like mine. But I'm getting off track here. The point is, I felt like this was a good way to comfort you and take care of your needs is all. And good company is a need, just like hunger or thirst. And you're my huggable good boy, so I know I'll always drop everything to take care of your needs. Any of them. So anytime you feel lonely and you want to talk or even just be with me, Feel free to come on over. It doesn't matter what time of day or night it is. You can come whenever you like. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you name it. Even if I'm not awake, I really don't mind. So, for instance, if you feel like you're just dying to cuddle someone, you can come visit my place. You can walk right in, even if I'm asleep, and you can slip right onto my bed and cuddle me. I give you full consent. And my place isn't that far from you. It's walkable. I moved just so I could be next to you, after all. 
But even so, if you want me to give you a ride, just give me a call. Or a text if you prefer. I know calling can be anxiety inducing sometimes. Whatever makes you more comfortable. I just want to comfort you and love you. Because there isn't anything in the world I love more than you. Since you're my wonderful good boy. I love you so much. I know I say that a lot, but it's just because it's true. So I hope it's not a bother when I say I love you so much. You don't think it's a bother, right? I'm probably just overthinking things a lot. You like it when I tell you I love you, don't you? I mean, of course you do. You called me over here just because you wanted some attention, right? And there's nothing wrong with calling me over for attention, since I love giving it to you. And I always love getting attention from you, too. Well... I guess you didn't really call me over to visit. I visited on my own initiative, but still. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you're my good boy. I love you. I don't know why I'm making things so complicated. The truth is just that I love you is all. I love you. I think about you all the time, whether I'm with you or I'm all alone without you. And I'm without you so much more often than I'd like. So it really made me glad to get your text, actually. It gave me an excuse to come visit you, and I always want to visit you. I'm a bit afraid of coming across as too overbearing and pushing you away, though. I think those fears might even be justified. I mean, I made a copy of your key that one time. I don't know if that's why you changed your lock, but... That's gotta be overbearing of me, right? So, I'm always afraid you'll get sick and tired of me, you know? But, you're always telling me how lonely you are when I'm not around. It makes me feel... safe. It makes me feel secure. Like I don't have to worry about getting hurt by you or leaving me. I'd hate that. I'd hate for you to leave me. I don't know what I'd do. But you'd never leave me, right? Because you're my good boy. And you're lonely just like me. I'd never leave you either, of course. You're a permanent part of my life. I couldn't exist without you. I can only get out of bed because I think about how maybe I'll be able to see you today. I can only go to work thinking maybe I can use my next paycheck to buy you something nice. I just can't express how much I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I can never let anything try to take you away from me. I think that's why I always tend to cling to you. I know I always get some clinging, either grabbing onto your arm or putting my arm around you or always holding on your hand. It just makes me feel so secure when I can cling onto you like that. The feeling of you against my hand or my arm is a reminder that you're still here with me. It's a reminder that you're mine. And I'm yours too, of course, sweetie. I'm always here for my good boy. It's my pleasure to be able to help you. I just wish I could help you more. When you texted me about how you were lonely, I just felt so... I wish I could have been right next to you as soon as I got that text. I wish I could have just teleported to your side. Because if you're hurting from feeling lonely, I don't want you to have to suffer for that for a single second longer. You're too good for that. You're too much of a good boy to have to go through that. But, you know, you don't have to suffer this alone. I know I gave you a key to my place so you could come over whenever you like. But, it doesn't just have to stop there. If you'd like, you could move in with me. 
I think it would be a good environment for you there. It'll just be the two of us. There's no one else there to bother you, other than me. And I'm not a bother, right, Sudi? And I always keep the place super spotless and clean because I want it to look the best for you. So I'm sure you'll find it a very welcoming experience. And if you'd like, as much as it pains me, well, I don't know just how close you want to be with me. But if it's too much for you to share a room with me, which I can understand, by the way, you can have your own room all to yourself. I'd only enter when you let me. I love you, and I want to be close to you. But I'm trying to respect you and not overstep your boundaries. See, sweetie? Aren't I treating a good boy like you just right? But if you want to share a room with me, I'd be delighted. I've always dreamt of that. I've even had a big bed from the start just in case you ever wanted to share it with me. And you can share my bed with me. You're such a good boy, so I have to treat you right after all. And while I'm sharing my bed with you, who knows what else I might want to share with you. I might even think of something I can give you for your second reward that I owe you. Doesn't that sound nice? Well, deciding if you want to move in with me or not is a big decision to make. Tell you what, I don't think you've ever had a thorough look at my place. How about I take you there and I can give you a tour? Then we can go from there. And while we're there, just the two of us, with no one else around, you can tell me if there's anything you want for your second reward. Ask for whatever you like. You know I can never say no to you. Because you're my good boy. <laughs>